gonna show you guys my belly so you won't think I'm over exaggerating. Hey, really ain't no need for waiting. Every day feel like it's a celebration. Good times, good vibes, gotta turn it up. Tune in to Bella Misia. Hey beauties, it's your girl Bella Misia, and I'm back with another video. Today I have a very special and personal story to share with you all. It's about a journey of self-discovery, resilience and a common post-pregnancy condition many pregnant women experience but may not even be aware of. So let's dive right into it. To give you a little background, I'm a mother of two beautiful boys born back to back. It's been quite a journey, you know, filled with joy, but also a lot of challenges. In a previous video, I spoke about my postpartum depression and basically all the factors that contributed to that. If you guys have not seen that video, I'll be sure to link it in the description box down below. But today I wanted to talk to you guys about diastasis recti, aka abdominal separation. And I know that might sound very off-putting, very scary, very like visual, like in your face like you know abs like literally ripping apart it it's it kind of sort of is that but let me explain so about a month after giving birth to my second child i started to feel a lot of discomfort in my abdomen and it wasn't the usual mom belly feeling if you're a mom you might know what i'm talking about this time it was different i first felt it when i was bringing my baby home from the hospital and i bent over to put him in the car seat. I also felt it whenever I stretched, whether I was trying to do yoga or just some regular stretches after feeling very sore after breastfeeding for a while. My stomach would just begin to feel very tight and tense. And I felt this deep, sharp, intense cramp. It was something that was so uncomfortable that I literally could not move until the pain dissipated. So I had to stay in whatever position I was in just to prevent myself from feeling any more pain that I was already feeling. Now, fast forward to my six week checkup. I told my gynecologist about everything that I was going through and she told me that this was normal after just delivering a baby. Now, mind you, I already delivered one baby prior to my second child not too long ago. So, I knew this was something different. I felt like everything that I was trying to get her to understand, like all my feelings were being dismissed. Help me, help me. I assured her that I did not feel this after delivering my first son. Her response was, every pregnancy is different. I remember it, like it was so like nonchalant, like she wouldn't even like touch the area, but she's over here like reciting this script. So days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, and I, did not feel any relief or any difference in the pain I was feeling and also my stomach was still protruding. So one day I had to be rushed to the hospital because I felt this intense pain in my abdomen and I also started to throw up uncontrollably. So after a thorough examination, they really couldn't pinpoint what was causing me to throw up. But one thing that they did tell me that this was the first time that I ever heard of it, was that I had diastasis recti. Those were the first times that I heard those words. It wasn't something that was ever discussed amongst friends, family, or just strangers. I was confused. I was just like, what is this thing that um, is causing this pain in my abdomen? So apparently, diastasis recti is a condition that causes your abdominal muscles to separate, usually during pregnancy, to make space for the baby. So due to the pressure of the baby growing, like your abdominal muscles, you know, they, they separate. And I guess from my understanding of it, after you deliver, they're supposed to contract and go back, but mine didn't. If you guys want me to do a more in-depth video on diastasis recti and what are the causes, what are the symptoms, let me know in the comment section down below. Also be sure to smash that like button so I know this is something that you guys are interested in. But honestly, I could not believe it. For months, I've been living with this condition that I had no idea I was going through. And I'm sure a lot of you out there probably didn't know too. It's just not something that's discussed amongst women. Like it's, I feel like it's one of those taboo things that's um, not discussed along with postpartum depression and just all that other stuff that we put in a box and try to act like doesn't exist. So what did I do? What do I do with this condition that's taking its toll on my mind, my body, 
it made me the most insecure I've ever been in my life. And it's sort of not hard to miss, you know? Like I said, I'm a petite girl, so me having this big belly, it kind of stuck out like a sore thumb, you know what I mean? I got that question for like, months like when are you due oh my god you're pregnant again oh going back for another baby like it was honestly so embarrassing um i just started to wear big clothes um i started to try to get um like belly bands to like you know tighten it so it could look more smooth under my clothes like and i think it's so rude like if you see someone and they're not telling you that they're pregnant don't even ask them or don't even assume that they're pregnant like let's just have that unspoken rule amongst women i even caught myself one time my wax lady her you know tummy looked as if she was pregnant and in my mind because i was about to get waxed and you know when you get waxed sometimes you get sort of anxious well i get anxious sometimes so i just talk a lot right and i like someone that is able to talk to me to kind of like calm me down so i remember thinking man i wonder if she's pregnant but I did not fix my lips to ask her. I had to catch myself because I know what it feels like to be that person that gets asked that question and it being the furthest thing from the truth. So I think we can just all agree, like if you see a female and her belly is protruding, let's not assume she's pregnant. Let's just bring our eyes all the way up to her face and say, hey, beautiful. How you doing today? So like I told you guys in my postpartum depression video, I did seek out therapy. This was one of the main reasons why I did because of the diastasis recti and me uh, not knowing how to fix it. So she encouraged me to get a second opinion from another gynecologist. So to my surprise, she suggested that I get surgery. In my head, I'm like, surgery? Like me, like I don't feel like I need to get surgery unless like I've been like shot, you know, like stabbed, hit by a car. Like I don't care what other people want to do with their bodies. For me personally, it was just not something that I had on my to-do list. So when she suggested that, I was kind of like confused. I'm like, are you telling me that surgery is the only thing that can fix this? But then she actually felt my stomach and she was saying that she feels like she feels hernia in my stomach. So I was like, okay, we went from diastasis recti to hernia, like what the heck is going on? So I took her advice. I went to the surgeon, you know, he started to massage my stomach, feel around, and he said that I didn't have a hernia and that I also didn't need to get surgery. He said these exact words. You have a severe case of diastasis recti and I would be doing a disservice to you if I was to do surgery. You're young. This is something you can definitely fix by seeking out a physical therapist and doing the proper workouts. I, my, I, I'm not gonna lie, like I was happy because personally I didn't want to go under the knife, right? Like I didn't want to if I personally didn't have to. So when he said that, it was just like, Hallelujah. let's do this. This is something I could do research on. Um, this is something that can be fixed, right? Um, he said it was common in women, but it's just that not a lot of women know that they have it, you know? They just think it's like a mommy tummy and that, you know, it's unfixable. Surgery, not happening, and I went to find a physical therapist to help me heal, go on this healing journey and see how we could fix this. I found this physical therapist, however, <laughs> because <laughs> it's always a however right there was some insurance issues my insurance wasn't covering it and I think I sought out two other physical therapists and after the consultation it was just like my insurance was not trying to cover this you know I ended up doing my own research and finding out exercises that I could do at home but if we're being honest sis like I was not consistent right so here I am like many of you, trying to figure out what the next step of my healing journey is until I'm able to seek out a physical therapist on a long-term basis. If you suspect that you might have diastasis recti or experiencing any discomfort or pain in your abdomen area, especially after giving birth, I encourage you to seek out you know, a professional. Trust your gut and do not take no for an answer. You know your body best. And remember, you're not alone on this journey. And there is hope 
for recovery without surgery. I noticed that a lot of people like to show the before and after, but never the in-between of their journey to recovery or any big change in life. You know, this is my story and I feel almost empowered to say it out loud because I feel like, again, it's something that a lot of us women don't talk about and I would like to change that. Um, this wasn't planned, but I think I'm gonna show you guys what my stomach is looking like today. And like I said, I have been doing things in consistently but I'm going to start being more consistent and I want you guys to hold me to that but this is what it's looking like I'm sure that everyone's diastasis recti looks different some might be um where I was when I first discovered it right after I had my baby which was 10 times worse than it is today um some of you may look exactly like mine and some of it may not be protruding as much as mine you know there's different stages to this thing. There's no like one size fits all uh, look for diastasis recti, but um, it's definitely something that I want to talk more about on this channel because I feel like it can help make a difference by just bringing more awareness to it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below what videos you want to see next. I love you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye beauties. Really ain't no need for waiting. Every day feel like it's a celebration. Good times, good vibes, gotta turn it up. Tune in to Bellamy C.